All right, you know what it is. This is when bullying go wrong. This is when bullying goes wrong. And it's about the Jersey car. You know what I mean? Man, you know, New York got involved, you know. But this is about the Jersey car. This is where the bullying goes wrong. So enjoy the joint and know that we're bringing you the fresh new content. All right? All right, you know what it is. Unique Mecca Audio, man. We in the house. We getting ready to do what we got to do. Don't say I didn't tell you. Now, this is about when bullying goes wrong. When bullying goes terribly wrong. Forget wrong. I'm talking about terribly wrong, you know? Now, we in Lewisburg. We in Lewisburg, 1994, early 95. So we in Lewisburg, and we got the Jersey car there because y'all want a Jersey car story. You got to bear with me. <clears throat> A lot of things going on, so I mean, I just tell the ones that I feel, you know what I mean, is what's needed for the momentum from where the last video was at to keep the momentum going. I just told you about Pooh Shiesty yesterday hitting Victorville. The homies already caught me. You know, he there and um, so, somebody named Bigger something, you know, no disrespect to him. Um, I think he from D.C. or something like that. But another big, big timer came there. So you got two big dudes went to Victorville last night. So all hell get ready to break out the loop uh, tonight, this morning. So I don't know what the hell is going to go on. <laughs> you know what I mean? When I'm here from the homies again, you know? I'm not saying nothing going to happen with them, with uh, uh, Pooh Shiesty and Bigger. But when people come to the joint, you know, it usually be a busload. And in that busload, you got dudes that know they don't belong on the compound, but they still go out there because they can't believe that, you know, gangsters is running the yard, but they find out the hard way. Now, we're in Lewisburg, and, you know, you got the Jersey car. The Jersey car, you know, they was rolling around like five of them, and it was five deep. You had two of them was huge. You know what I mean? I mean huge. When I say huge, I mean huge. Now, you got two of them. I'm talking about big, like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Luce Ferrigno, or whoever is the new big boy now, John Cedar. You know what I mean? Type joint. So he running around, and, you know, black dude. So one of them is a straight bully. You know what I mean? <clears throat> He's a shot caller. So the other uh, four that's with him, really three, because the, the there's another one that was on some man time. So it was two, but the, both of them was physically big. So he had three other little dudes around him that was also from Jersey. And they was trying to, you know, they was into extortion. You know, that's what the biggest one was into. He was in extorting people. So it was one of his homies from New Jersey was there. And he tried a uh, Spanish kid that ran with us, you know, ran with the New York car. Good dude. This is how New York got involved in it. So dude sitting there and they trying to press the Spanish dude because the Spanish dude going on a visit on the weekend. He getting his little weed brought in and he doing his thing. So now his homies being a day from Jersey feel that he ain't supposed to be giving the weed to us. He's supposed to be giving the weed to them. But, you know, the dude vibe with us and, you know, he click with us, but he don't click with his homies because his homies look down on him because he's Spanish. You know what I mean? And they black. So he's not really from their neighborhood where the five of those dudes, they grew up in, you know, the, the, the heart of Newark. <clears throat> and uh, dude grew up like in the outskirts or something like that. But they tried to bully him, but he up on the aisle wing. So now... One of the homies is walking with the dude that's his man. That's the one that really brought him in with us. Big shout out to him, you know. So now when he brings him into uh, into the crew, they walking out of the joint and they continuously pressing their Jersey homie. But the Jersey homie's on man, on man time too. So he's like, man, I'm not giving you nothing. But now the New York homie holding him down. But it's only two of them and five of them, you know. So now while they walking down the hall, um, one of the dudes from the Jersey called the littlest dude, he jumps at the New York homie. So, you know, he backs out, you know, pulls his joints out. You know what I mean? And, you know, then he run back. Then the little dude that lunged at him, he run back over there laughing. He telling the peoples, uh, telling his homies, yeah, that nigga coward, da, 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 da. So now my man in his body. But, you know, and the thing is, he ain't even got nothing to do with it. It's all behind the Spanish kid from Jersey that they really hating on because he's getting the, um, the, what we call the sack. The, all right, so y'all learn another terminology. You know, as I come up with, I'm going to let you know the sack. That, you know, like, yo, he, he, he going to get the sack this weekend. That means he go out on a visit to go get the balloons, you know, whatever contraband is in it. I'm going to give you a video if y'all want to put in the comments 
on, you know, how, you know, we put it together to even get the drugs or the narcotics within the prison behind the wall. They already busted a bunch of people for it, so they ain't telling for the trolls, you know? But uh, I even got busted for it, you understand what I'm saying? I got knocked for trying to bring in a couple of balloons, you know, lost my visit for a year, that, that, that. So, I mean, it's just nothing. They already know everything under the sun, but, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, so he lunged at him and he faking, so he run back laughing, so the homie get mad. He's like, nah, I'm not going for none of that. You know what I mean? I'm not going for none of that. So now when he comes around, you know, the whole New York car, he telling everybody what happened, that he want to move on these Jersey niggas because they're getting out of hand because now they're acting like if, you know, they're going to punk him, you know? So, you know, of course, we told him old terminology that I'm going to teach you another one called rock to sleep. Say, nah, rock him to sleep, homie. You know what I mean? Rock him to sleep. You know what I mean? You know, rock him to sleep, you know, so you understand that means fall back and act like, Nothing happened and everything is good and just go through your normal routine. Let him think everything is smooth. And once he's thinking everything is good and smooth, then, you know what I mean, that's when you make your move because that's when he least expected, you know? So you youngins, you pay attention to these terminologies and things that I'm telling you, you know what I mean? And these rules and jewels that I'm giving you and know that it ain't worth it, you know what I mean? Because if you want to go live like this, feel free to do it. Now, his homies is hating on him just because he's going on a visit every weekend, getting a sack, and when he's coming in, you know what I mean? They feel like he's supposed to break them off just because he's from Jersey, but he don't hang with them. He hangs with us, the New York car, so he break bread with us. So if something go down with him, now we got to hold him down. But now they creating something to go with him, uh, the Jersey car, because he's from Jersey. They feel like he's automatically one of them. But now you pick and choose where you want to go. When you a man, because it ain't where you're from, it's where you at. You know what I mean? Meaning in your heart. Now, so dude sitting there, and a week later, the, the, the homie that was holding down a jersey dude, he goes to, you know, his old head uncle, and he tell his uncle, yo, man, I'm, I'm ready to make my move. And uncle said, yeah, you waited long enough. You know, the nigga rocked to sleep enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now the next morning, uh, being that he got the green light, the next morning he go downstairs and when he go downstairs, he walking uh, to go eat breakfast. And when he going out, um, all of them is walking to the kitchen, the whole Jersey car, except for the big dude that do the extortion. He in there still sleep because he think he cut like that. So this is one of the times when we learned that you got to be suited and booted in Lewisburg. So everybody goes to the child. So his homies leave. They didn't even realize that he didn't get up because he don't get up every morning because he taking it for granted because remember, he's the aggressor. He's the bully. So he laying down sleep, mind his business. So when they get to walking now, um, down the thing, um, my man start walking slower because the four of them is in their little conversation. So he start walking slower to get behind them, but they thinking that he's coming with them to the kitchen and he's the one that got the beef with them. You understand? Well, when you got the uh, when you get in the kitchen, they lock the door where you locked in and just open the door to come out to go back. You know what I mean? So now dude goes and he slides back to the unit because his homies went, you know, the other four homies went to eat. So dude that he really wanted is pray in his cell by himself now. And he don't rock them to sleep long enough. You know what I mean? Because he was trying to get his man for trying to get the sack. You know what I mean? Catch these terminologies so y'all understand. Y'all say New York niggas talk slick. Nah, prison niggas talk slick. This some prison talk. So he slide back, but you know, rock the sleep come from the streets in any city. Before y'all say, oh, it didn't start in New York, it started in Baltimore. It started in Tennessee. It started in Chicago. It don't matter where it started. You know what I mean? You already know when you rock somebody's sleep, you catch them off guard. So now he got dude rocked to sleep. He goes back to the unit. When he goes back to the unit, he rolls up in there. He got his knife with him. So he rolled up in there. And the dude under the covers got the covers over his head and he sleeps. So when he rolled up in there, he grabbed the bang out. You know, I like to give my little ex, you know, demonstration. So, you know, where, where the shot? You know what I mean? So you can see how this thing played out. So, you know, he got his little banger out. You know what I mean? He got his bang all out. It's wrapped up. You know, cause remember I told you, you got to have something wrapped around the handle. You know what I mean? So, you know, not promote nothing, just letting you young and see that this is real. There ain't nobody playing in there. They making knives out of anything. So a dude might take a good old big pen. That's all this is, it's a big pen. You see what I'm saying? Might take a little big pen, you know what I mean? Wrap it up in something. So now he got it with him. So now it become like an ice poker, you know? But he had a real joint. I'm just giving you this for example. So he come rolled up in a joint, dude sleep. So when he rolled up in the room, you know what I mean? He getting it quiet and he get over the dude and he stabs him in the head. Boom! So when he hits him, 
he jumps up, you know? So when he jumps up, he's discombobulated, but maybe he a big dude. So when he jumped up, he rushed dude, he got his weight against him. So while he got his weight against him, he just busy jabbing him, gong, gong, gong. And he catch him on the shoulder because he's trying to shut these down so he can't really move his joints. If y'all, like I said, don't go to prison, man. This ain't to promote, just letting you know how real it is. You got no way to hit a nigga so you can slow him down, especially when he's bigger than you. So being that I told you this dude was big like Lou Ferrigno type, wasn't no way he was going to hit him with his hands that was going to hurt him. There was plenty of places he could hit him with a knife that wasn't going to hurt him. But ain't nothing like that cold steel going in any part of your body. But when you talking about up here, you know what I mean? We ain't getting the I, I, I organ shell. I'm talking when you get stabbed up here. So you hit him, bong. You know, it ain't hit him on the other side, bong. So now as he's hitting him, you know, Dude starts swinging still because he's a big dude. So this is the last of his Mohican. So he, boom, boom, and he turned, he turned it on him. So when he hitting him, um, my man grabs him and he, he like pushes him back. And when he pushes him back, he threw his foot under his heel. You know what I mean? Put his, threw his foot under his heel and he pushed him to the side. Boom. So when he pushed him to the side, he fell over. So when he fell over, now my man get on him and he just working him, boom, and he's stabbing him all in the face and in the head. I mean, come on, dog. Y'all ain't trying to go to witness to be a part of this, go to prison, be a part of this. You know what I mean? I mean, he stabbed him everywhere but loose in his face and head. It was a big, handsome young man. You know what I mean? It was getting the girls out there. It was getting the money out there. But he was just a bully and, you know, liked to extort people. And that's what he was doing on the street. He came into prison doing it, trying to do it to his little homie. When he tried to do it to the little homie, little homie hooked up with us. Being that he hooked up with us, now we got to hold him down because he a part of us. And he feeding us, you know, by his choice. You know what I mean? So we make sure he all right. So now, even though he got beef with his people, we could get involved because he down with us because he's really our people. I hope I ain't talking too fast for y'all. I'm trying to talk a little slow, but I got to keep this together and keep this flowing so you get the momentum the way Unique wants you to get it. Know what I mean? And thank y'all for stop telling me. Oh, you said nah, I mean a hundred times. Y'all heard it for the first time when I first started these little videos and everybody started crying. Oh, you said nah, I mean, nah, nah, I mean, okay, nah, I mean. Okay, but anyway, so now if you don't hit him up, boom, boom, he done stabbed him up. So, uh, um, dude went to the hospital and he was damn near dead. You understand? But the crazy part is that same morning they transferred when they went to the kitchen, you know, and uh, cause the deuces got went off and all the police ran down to the unit where you know the, the homie was stabbing, you know, the the, the extortioner, <laughs> you know. So when all the police ran down there, they locked the jail down till they get, you know, the body out of there and everybody see what's going on. So they was locked in the kitchen, but their man, the other big dude, the one I told you was on man time, he was waiting to be transferred and he was put on a list and he got transferred that same morning. So now the main dude, you know what I mean, got stabbed in the face, you know, the other dude uh, got transferred and now you got the three clowns and one of them is the one that ran at the home. He faking like he was going to do something like, you know, like he was punking them. You know what I mean? But now it's just them three there, right? So now, let me finish telling you about this before I get back into them three. So now dude in the hospital. Dude in the hospital and he on life support. But we don't know what's going on. Take him to the local hospital. We in Lewisburg. Oh, we got his radio back then. You know what I mean? We barely even watched the news, you know, and all this when we first came in because we busy, you know, trying to figure out how to get drugs in the prison, how to still take care of our family on the street and still feel like we on the street. And look at me, I still ain't put this joint down yet. You know I'm having mad flashbacks, but it feel good in the nigga hand, man. I ain't even going front, you know what I mean? But at least I can hold it in the, in the safety of my house instead of knowing I'm holding it to take somebody eye out. Which, you know, like I said, youngin, don't go to prison, man, because this is where your mentality got to be at. So when I see certain things that y'all don't like, you know what I mean? And y'all y'all want to think it's glamorized. It ain't glamorized. It's just telling you the real. The real is the real, man. Hit that like button, man. Hit that like button and buy the book of Rowan Harlem. You know? Oh, yeah. Everybody watching this, man. Everybody watching this, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Okay? Because I'm looking at the numbers and I see that I got more people. I got 58% of the people that's not subscribed watching and 48% watching. I want to switch those numbers around and I know my team going to help me. So everybody, if you're not subscribed, you've been taking it for granted that, yeah, I ain't got to subscribe. I just be coming there. Nah, show love. And that's why I say hit a nigga with a cash app. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't hit a nigga with a cash app, a little $5 or something, just subscribe or hit the like button or go to the comments and hit an emoji with a, whatever emoji you want, a diamond, the, 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 the muscle up, you know, whatever, champagne bottle, and just shoot it. You ain't even got to write nothing. But definitely subscribe, man. Subscribe. All right? Subscribe, you know? And, uh, oh, so anyway, let me put my banger down. 
You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, you know, so that's where dude is at. So dude is in the thing, and we here on the local news. We here on the local news on the radio because we had these little boom boxes and all that back then. One speaker in the front. Y'all remember them from back then. But uh, we here on the local radio drum. We in the yard um, working out, and we hear that, you know, they said dude's name, his whole government name, and said he was pronounced dead. He was pronounced dead. So you youngins watching this that think this is a game and, you know, I'm going to just do this and go to jail for a minute. Now nah, you walk into all this. So now he don't got stabbed all in the face, all up in the chest and everything, and he pronounced dead. So now the uh, homie go tell, uh, you know, the little dude that from uh, Spanish dude that he was looking out for, he said, yo, come on, man. You know, we got to go to the yard. Dude said, nah, I was getting ready to uh, call my girl. He said, nah, nigga, we need to go to the yard, you know, because he, he didn't even know what happened yet. You know what I mean? All he knows, the deuces went off, and they took dude up out of there. So he take him to the thing. He said, man, I just heard on the news, dude died. You know what I mean? So they're like, damn. And my man only had, I think, maybe 17 years, you know? And look how crazy it is, how twisted my mind is. So if you youngies want your mind quest, uh, twisted, where you could actually sit there and say a person only had 17 years, like 17 years is 17 seconds. You know what I mean? That's how I see 17 years. 17 years. When somebody tell me they got 17 years, I'm like, man, you made out good, my nigga. You know what I mean? You're, you're going to knock that out in no time. You know what I mean? Before you know it, that decade be here. And after that decade, it's countdown, daddy. Countdown time. Only got seven years. You know what I mean? You can do that seven walking on your hands. You know what I mean? So, you know, but that's where our mentality got in there. You know, because like I got life plus 20. So a dude tell me he got 17. I'm like, come on. I remember one time, just to give it to you, I'm going to get back to the story, but I like to ride. So don't say it on me, run it, run it, don't finish the story. Let me do what I want to do. You enjoy watching me. I'm enjoying giving you all these jewels. And it ain't costing you nothing. You know what I mean? It ain't costing you nothing. You know? And all I ask is hit the like button. You know what I mean? The emoji, you know, uh, uh, for the comment. And of course, if you could do it, send a little $5 for the cash app. But definitely subscribe. Oh, and I'm putting a link up on the joint. Uh, there's going to be a link in the comments that you hit the link and you join up and you put your email so you can subscribe and, you know, we'll send you all the newest things that's going on and definitely become a member. I'm going to start putting up videos there like there's a, the, the New Year's video is going to be aired on the membership channel today. Today, the New Year's video is going to be aired on the show. So you understand it's only for the members. If you're a member, you get to see how we celebrated New Year because we're waiting on it to be approved, you know, um, you know, by YouTube. But anyway, so now I do pronounce dead. You see the way I did that? Now we back in the store because we just chilling. It's like I'm in your living room. We just kicking it. So I ain't got to tell the whole story because you ain't paying nothing anyway. So this is not like you watching NBC and you watching an episode of The Wire. You understand what I'm saying? This is just, you know, your friendly old uncle, you know, your old G sitting there talking to you, telling you about different things that happen. And we just vibe. And that's what this challenge is about. So you understand. So it's the same way as if I was doing it live. You know what I mean? But that, that's too complicated. But I'm going to start doing it with some help. But it's the same way like you're doing it live. So I'm just sitting here kicking it about random things about the prison search uh, situations and how to deal with it. But anyway, so now I do pronounce dead. We all on the wait pile. So now we go back in and we like, oh, man. So dude trying to get all his affairs and all because he know that the SIS, that's the, y'all remember that I told y'all about the SIS. You know what I mean? Um, security investigation service for the prison. That's like the FBI. So he knew the SIS was coming to get him. So he started taking his contraband and his stamps and stuff like that that he can't take to the hole. And he fishing it out and he going around getting whatever weed or heroin he could get off the compound. So, you know, he could swallow it. So when he go back in the hole, he have that to be able to sell while he back there to make a little money. Because, you know, it's just like you're on the street and they say turn yourself in on such and such a date to this federal prison. You know, the way they go. And like I said, not telling you youngins to do nothing. Let's get that straight. Just telling y'all how it is the fact. This is a how it is video. Now, so, you know, dude might pop a couple of balloons and go turn himself in at the joint where he going to him. When he rolled up in the joint, he get in there now. He penitentiary rich and he running the joint. So now he get to get everybody conforming to him and how he want to run things. You know what I mean? You see the way I did that? You know, we just kicking it. This is how we kick it. You know what I mean? Don't tell me how to kick it. Just sit back and enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, change the channel. They got a thousand channels. Yo, yo. You, you, you got, um, I'm going to give you one. Y'all go check my man uh, Chad, Chad Marks out. If y'all don't like what I'm talking about, my prison joint, you got Chad Marks over there. 
Go check him out. You go check out the big homie Ten Toes. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm going to give a shout out because I looked at his content. I liked it. I didn't hear nothing bad about him, about him not being a man or nothing. So y'all could go check out Banky Pond. So now I'm going to add him in my list because that's how I do. You know what I mean? If you don't like what I'm saying, I just gave you some other podcasts. Do the same thing that I do. You go check them out because I lead by example. This is family. But I just want to kick it with my people. Can I kick it? You know what I mean? So anyway, so they in the joint and it comes up that he was dead. So now they in there, he getting his affairs in order. And then it came back. Uh, and then uh, SIS come down there and they said, man, we was just, you know, we're telling, you know, the old heads, you know, yo, we, um, we was talking to dude that got stabbed and he died. And uh, uh, for first he came back too. First, he came out. This is what they're telling us. They said that he came out, the, you know, the, 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 the sleep that he was in. And when he came out the thing, he said it was, you know, two of your people that did it. He called them by name. So the dude ratted when he came out, the, you know, uh, a little cold more temporary, whatever it is. So he said it was, you know, John and Bob that did it. So now the SIS cool with us because he's from the town, too. You know what I mean? So he's like, yo, you know, the dude told on your people that, you know, when he came to, he said, but the good thing is, you know, um, he died, but that's not the good thing that he died. But the good thing is that when he died, he went under and then we was able to revive him and he came back too. And when he came back too, he stopped talking, but he already gave the statement and then the other SIS that was in there, security investigation service that was in the office, they heard the bull crap that was going on that this dude was telling you know, because he got stabbed behind his actions as trying to extort people. We know everything going on, but we let y'all run your own prison and clean up your own backyard. You know what I mean? You just don't touch or hurt our offices. You know, but whatever y'all do with each other, y'all do. You know, something like how they got Iraq uh, running back in the day with Saddam Hussein, kept an iron fist down on him. And you had no problems in Iraq. But then now you turn around, uh, George Bush don't got Saddam Hussein out of there. And then now all the little fractions that wasn't, that didn't have the uh, um, the muster, let's say, to go at Saddam Hussein's regime, you know, now all of them is rising and that's where you get, you know, the all that stuff going on over there. You know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, so it is what it is. I try and watch what I say because it's for YouTube and I want the youth to be able to watch this with their uncles and their aunts and things like that and their mothers and fathers and, you know, they feel comfortable that I'm not cursing, so I toned it down. You know, normally I do my little cursing and all that. But anyway, so the SIS tell him that, yo, he died, you know, when he came to, he told who did it, and then uh, 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 he, he, he went under. But when he came back again and he got his barons back, now he's trying to, now he's not giving a statement, but he already did, so they, you know, know who to investigate. Remember, we are the security investigation service. You know what I mean? So I'm just letting you know they're getting ready to come down and questioning your man because dude said your man is the one that stabbed him. So I'm like, oh, man, you know what I mean? They're going to come get the homie, but that's how it is, man, you know, when you up in there. So now, dude pronounced dead tail, wake up, didn't tell. Man, that's some crap. <coughs> Excuse me. So the other three dudes that was there, can you believe that those three dudes checked in? Check didn't mean they went to administration and said they feared for their lives and they wanted to leave the compound because their, you know, they, they main man got stabbed in the face, so he's no longer there to what they thought was going to be their savior to protect them. And then the other one that was on man time from Jersey, he got shot out, I think, to Atlanta at the time, you know, a transfer that he wanted to get close to his family down south or whatever it is. So when he gets down there and when, he, when they separate him and it's just these three, now who they are really comes out. Who they are really comes out, you know? <laughs> the cowards that they are, because now they want to run after they was there flinting at the homie all this, but now they don't brought the animal out the homie. And when the animal come out the homie, now that all of a sudden they want to try and say, oh, you, you, you're bugging. Why you let the animal out? We didn't mean nothing by it. We was only playing, you know? So then now, just to see you, show you how it play out, so that's why I'm telling you, young, don't go to jail, man, because you got to have these type of morals and principles in this mind frame in order to survive and move out. So the SIS came down and um, they questioned them, but before they questioned you when there's a stabbing and things like that, especially one of that magnitude, they expected you to get stabbed too because when you be working at John, bong, bong, blood is gonna come up on your hands, splash on you, or you might even get cut 
by what you hold holding. Because a lot of time you're trying to hold a dude's shirt and you're trying to pull it in him, but instead you're putting it in yourself. You understand what I'm saying? From the heat and the excitement. You know what I mean? And the, the, you know, the rustle and tussle. That's why I'm telling you, youngins, it ain't worth it. You know what I mean? It ain't worth it, man. You know what I mean? I survived it. And that's why I can tell you, I done been to the depths of hell in the Federal Bureau of Prison in the feds. And I'm telling you, it, it ain't worth it, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? It ain't worth it. Like, like I said, where Pooh Shiesty at right now, that joint for real. You know what I mean? I'm having a surprise with y'all about that. But I'm just telling you, that joint ain't nothing nice over there. That's where I got parole from. You know what I mean? If a dude ain't getting stabbed at least once a day, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 um, something wrong. You know what I mean? They, they, they might lock the jail down and find out, hold up, why, why nobody got stabbed today? You know what I mean? If nobody gets stabbed, you know, the captain go lock the jail down and find out, yo, hold up, what are y'all doing? Nobody got stabbed. <laughs> you know, because sometimes it might be five, six people get stabbed in a day, but they expect at least one. So if nothing happened, they be like, no, nah, something really big is getting ready to blow up. So let me go find out. So they come lock us in and ask, yo, what's going on? Ain't, ain't nobody get stabbed today. You know, they be like, no, nah, it was a good day. Like Ice Cube, you know, nobody got I stabbed today, but it's the life I had to live. That's why I can laugh back at it because the whole time he talking to me, I got my joint in me because I'm like, man, I'm not trying to be the next one. Oh yeah, y'all want me to tell you about how I got whoop, in the head with a lock on the side. I mean, I just got to go get some batteries. You know what I mean? I want to go get a lock. You know, I really want to get a lock. I don't have a lock in the crib. That's why I didn't do it yet. I'm going to get a lock, put a lock in the sock. You know what I mean? Just, just so you can see how when you put the lock in the sock and you swing it, it stretch out so you ain't got to get close to the dude. The dude hit me in the head. Boop. You know, so I'm definitely going to tell it. You know, like I said, I, I done took a couple of L's too now. Don't, don't get it twisted. Anybody could take an L. So let's get that straight. You need to say he ain't never took no L. The stories, I mean, you know, I talk direct and all that. So, you know, I, and I'm a cocky nigga because I'm from Harlem. Big shout out. You know what I mean? The homicide loo, gangster loo. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, all, all my Harlemites, you know how we do it. Cisco kid. You know what I mean? Kenny down with Carlos and them. You know what I mean? We have men that was in there. But we all take a loss and we all get into something. That's what it is. You know what I mean? And even Prince from the Supreme Team got into something. And my man, you know, Big C, I got to tell you about that. I had to dig out the picture of Big C from the Supreme Team, how he even got killed in there. You understand what I'm saying? So me just getting hit in the face a lot because I ran my mom, said the wrong thing that I wasn't supposed to say to the person and blah, 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 which I'm going to give you the details on it. So don't think a nigga ain't got, you know, like a nigga trying to hide nothing. You know what I mean? I don't got I, I, Come on, man. That ain't nothing. That's all a part of war, man. You know what I mean? You win some, you lose some. But the bottom line is you fight. As long as you fight, you win. You know what I mean? As long as you fight, you win. Make sure you youngins understand I'm telling you that. As long as you fight, you win. You know what I mean? As long as you fight, you win. So, you know, I'm going to give you the story how a dude took the lock, stood back and doop because he didn't want to get close, bust me all in my joint, had me going to the hospital, get my nose slow back on my lip and the whole lot. <laughs> you know, but, you know, it is what it is, man. I mean, if, if you don't want it, don't get involved in it. That's why I'm telling you, don't break the law, don't go out there, don't get in none of that because it's only the... Make a what? Make a audio. That was dumb enough to do that crap. You know what I mean? And now I'm here trying to give y'all a little, you know, help and advice. You know? So it is what it is. Yeah, y'all ain't got to clap. Y'all ain't got to clap because you're not about to tap out. I've been on here long enough, but I just wanted to give y'all that so you understand. But bottom line, dude was bullying dude. I'm going to give you a little quick little wrap up, but I'm going to do it the way we talk New York slick. This is the way I'll be telling to the homie. You see the hands moving and all that? That's how New York do. We talk with the hands. So all y'all in Minnesota and Jessup and wherever you from, Chicago, know that this is how we talk in New York. Dude be talking to me, tapping, yo, what up? So I might start doing some comedy too. I'm going to start doing some comedy prison videos, so look for that. But anyway, uh, you know, a New York dude talking to me like, yo, son, you know what I mean? He talking, yo, son, yo, dude, I hear you. Why are you tapping me? You know what I mean? He's like, nah, nah, but son, yo, you still tapping me, dog. Why are you doing that? But, you know, we call that hand checking too. That's another terminology for y'all. So, you know, um, it, 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 it's wild, man. Don't, don't go to prison, man. Don't go to prison, man, you know? But that's the way, and I'm going to end with that. Hit the like button, man. Y'all subscribe, man. Hit that subscribe button. I know y'all watching, y'all just forgot but everybody watching this, please hit the subscribe button now if you didn't and turn the bell notification on. Let's get this thing popping. I got the New Year's video that I'm just waiting to be, you know, um, approved by YouTube. But I'm going to go ahead anyway and I'm putting that video in the membership only column on, my, on this page. So sign up for a member and you're going to see the video. You know what I mean? I might put it up now, so by the time I put this up, the people could tell you in the comment that they saw the video, how we was, you know, tossing it up. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, man. We in the house. Just know that Unique Mech Audio here. 
We're going to give you the best content. Just, just look at it. See the background? I'm sitting in a prison cell, you know what I mean? In my crib, you know what I mean? So when I want to get my little solitude, I just go turn on my little green screen and go sit in my little cell, and I just look at the bars, and I just think back at the brothers that, you know, I left behind and, you know, wonder when is my, my prayer is going to be answered for them to bring them out here with me. Now, I just did a video with my man, uh, Muja, you know what I mean? Um, Mujahid. And um, I did another video with uh, Mujahid. He, he got something light. He, I think he got life. Yeah, he, he got, yeah, yeah, he got life. He got life. Uh, Mujahid, he got life, but he got 17 in on, on the life. So, you know, he just starting it. He's 17, ain't nothing. He knocked that out like it was nothing. But, of course, the brother ready to come home and deserve to come home. Then we got um, Jimmy Fingers that been in there from he was 22. He's getting ready to turn 50, been in there 28 years. I talked to him. I called Jimmy on a day when he caught me when he just needed his spirits lifted, his morale lifted because everything around him was getting to him. So Jimmy hit me up on the phone to have a little conversation. And I'm talking to Jimmy, and I'm, I could hear it in his voice that he wasn't right. So I said... You know, yo, what's wrong, son? He's like, no, everything cool, good boy. But I'm like, nah, you, you know, you sound like something going on. He's like, no, I, everything all right. I, I'm just, you know, tired of looking at the clock for them. <laughs> you know what I said? So, you know, I, I brought him back, but I'm going to play that call so you can hear how it went so you see the psychological effect that it has on us someday. You heard Jimmy when we was talking, and he was sharing about, you know, when I was interviewing, we just talking, having questions when he was up, but then he called on a day when, you know, the 28 years was pushing down on him, you know, it was closing in on him, you know, but he's a fighter, so, you know, we fought through it. He know where to call when he need that, you know, so it is what it is, man, but, you know, so I'm going to have them, I'm going to try to knock them out today. I might stay in and knock that out, but New Year's and all that, happy New Year's to everybody, man, and happy holidays, you know, but, um, you know, it was, it was just something else, man. But let me tap out. Been on here long enough. Just wanted to give y'all some love, man, to let y'all know that Unique Mecca Audio Day. Hit that like button. Remember to subscribe if you didn't subscribe. Subscribe if you didn't subscribe. Hit the like button and they go to Cash App on the screen. I don't care if it's $5, man. You know what I mean? That ain't going to hurt nobody. Somebody, oh, man, I forgot his writer's name there. <clears throat> I told somebody that, you know what I mean? It, 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 you know, that a dollar wasn't hurting nobody. And, you know, if, if they were doing bad, they needed something or if they needed, you know, whatever. Send me a cash app. I'll send you a dollar. So I guess he thought it was funny and he put in the cash app, you know what I mean, uh, in the comment, his cash app. And I just sent him a dollar, man. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if he thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke, Hobie. So I ain't laughing at you. But I sent you the dollar because you put a, you're up in the thing. So I don't know if you was challenging me and what you were doing. But all I got is my word, my nigga. That's all I got is my word, my nigga. And my word is, when I watch these other podcasts that I just told y'all to watch earlier, if it's something that I like on that joint, I'm going to send them a couple of dollars, even if it's $5. You know what I mean? And I got my own platform. If I'm watching another platform, they're doing good, I'm going to represent. That's what you do, man. You go to the restaurant, you get a good meal, that's what you do. You know, so don't act like, oh, niggas on here begging on YouTube. Nah, nigga, niggas ain't begging in the restaurant when they serving that goddamn stale coffee and, you, you know what I mean, and, 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 and hard dough bread. You know, and you giving them a tip. You go to a restaurant, you give them a tip, no thought. You come to YouTube, you get you get you get way more than you get in the restaurant as far as the service. The service sucks, but here you get good comedy, good entertainment, good everything, and then y'all act like it's so hard to give a tip. Come on, man, let me tap the hell out, cause y'all done lost your goddamn mind. But thank you to all my subscribers that look out, you know what I mean? And uh do what they gotta do, man. Alright, so I'm out. Hi guys, welcome to Platinum Cuisines. We're located in Freeport on the North Kamal. Just wanted to introduce my partner, Amy. Hi guys, how are you? And this is my sister-in-law, Diana, another partner. Um, I just ask that you come support our minority-owned business. We serve Asian fusion Caribbean cuisine, and we have a beautiful restaurant located on the North Mile in Freeport, New York. And we're asking that you come check us out and also make sure to tune in to Mecca Audio TV. Cheers, 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 the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime. The crime. Hey. Fresh out the 
Ken of 26 yeah. He back on the strip, uh-huh. getting back in the mix yeah. What he mentions a gift Trust. You stand up ten toes down And I suggest you pay attention to this Real. Take a little gully posse and put it in home uh. He cut from the bottom, back. came up from the bottom back. Drop the book, you should go and get it The Instagram page and the YouTube, you could go and visit yeah. Then you could consider yourself linked in Real. Sit front row and get juice from a kingpin uh. How he went through it so you ain't gotta go do it uh-huh. Did not pay attention would be stupid Talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on Probably the reason that him and your grams got along A man that generated millions on the block Did his time, never squilling to the cops make an audio Get it live like two G's in the ninth. Yeah. Drop top beamer so shine. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. Treat her like my past, she behind me. Spin a couple bands on the dapper dan. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. No cap, this a roaring uptown. They be horn uptown, Dominican bust downs. Now we on the positive. You we got a lot to give. Now-